All right, we're live. We are live. Holy cats. I don't know if people are going to join up. I guess we'll see. Maybe. I don't know. It's always possible, right? I'm going to pop out the chat so that I can see it. Hey, we got a couple people in there. So Somyo? Somyo says hello. And Levi. Levi says hello. There's Robbie. There's X Exact. There's Eddie. What up, my boy, Eddie Moser? Oh, man, there's a whole bunch of people popping in. Hey, Red. Ignore my chan. That's nice. Tater Tot, Anam, Chuck, Joanne, Ray, Zachary, Aaron, TC, Josh, Fred, Eli, Talon, Tommy, Samick, Mark Omega, Eddie Morales, Scott Gaming, Average Kid Vlogs, Laura. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Mr. DJ Berg has paused the Hateful Eight for me. Man, okay. So first, first I need to ask. Um, this is completely new computer hardware. So um, I have the bit rate set a little high. I have the frames per second set a little bit high. Uh, let me know if the video is okay. Also, I need to know if the audio is okay. And I need to know if the audio and the video are in sync. Like, it's tearing up my heart when I'm... Not that kind of in sync. Oh, Eddie. Eddie with five bucks. Bless your nerd heart, Eddie. I could sure use a coffee. <laughs> I'm using um, this. I'm using a, a Yeti Blue, I think it is. Let's see if I can. There it is. Yeah, that thing. I'm using that. That's my microphone at the moment. Uh, Hateful, Eight, it, Hateful Eight is almost three hours long. That's awesome. Audio, video, good. Hey, from Australia. Hey, Tristan. What's going on, buddy? Man, I uh, I haven't had to, I haven't, I haven't had the chance to stream in quite some time. It appears. Uh, whoo! Let's see. Moving my windows around. I got a new computer. I got new, um, um, a new monitor as well. Best Buy had it on sale, and I was like, yes, please. Chick, chick. Tristan, all good. No layer shifts. Uh oh, Anthony says four out of five for sync. Four out of five for sake. And don't touch the mic. Yeah, I know. Everybody says it looks and sounds good. That's uh, that's great. Uh, let's see. I need to go. This is the stream now. I know. So if I go into the, the control, I see that there is 182 people watching this completely random stream. And that is fantastic. I am... Uh, streaming from a Logitech C920. And the reason I'm doing that instead of my normal camera is because, uh, well, it's easy. It's USB. And one of the tests I wanted to do was something that my old laptop couldn't do. And that was to sync the audio and the video between the USB camera and the USB audio device. So now that I have a new system, I believe it has three different USB boards in it. I can put the camera on one and the mic on the other and i believe it uh, it is just happy camera is a little bit blurry uh i am sorry about that uh and uh and and uh mike is saying that the sync is possibly just a little bit off so i hope it improves uh robbie's got to go to school well hey thanks for stopping by uh josh fred and nine degrees fahrenheit that is fantastic Riznik 3D, can I have a shout out? I believe I just did. Jonas is asking if the CR10 is worth it. And uh, I, along with many others, think that uh, for a Far East machine at such a low price point, I believe that it offers everything you need to get started. And there are people doing fantastic things with it. Um, uh, Uncle Jesse is printing all sorts of full-size props. I know uh, the Happy Extruder extended his Z to a thousand millimeters is, and is printing swords, like full-sized swords. What? Uh, EB3D plus Joel CES 2018. Yes, I am 99.999% uh, sure I will be at CES this year. 
The goal is to arrive in Las Vegas, CES Tuesday evening, and then to take off and head back to Seattle, CES Thursday evening. I don't want to reveal who my sponsor is quite yet, but I've worked with them in the past and uh, they are a wonderful company. Uh, they will have a booth and um, I, I will do an interview with the booth. I will uh, I, I will try to say good things about them because I've, like I said, I've worked with them in the past and, uh, I think, uh, I think you'll like it. I think it'll be good. We'll just leave it at that. Plus, um, the rumor is I'm going to be giving away a printer at CES. The Kubicorn is asking for a shout out. Oh my goodness. The Kub I don't know. Should I give, should I give the Kubicorn a shout out? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should charge a buck for Seattle Children's Hospital for shout outs. That's what I should do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ah, 3D Makers with a high five. Disturbed Medic 167. What's going on, buddy? Uh, one of the things, so here's something interesting about YouTube. I'm part of this pilot program for non gaming channels that's offering sponsorship. And if you look at Eddie Moser, when he types something, it has a little Joel robot icon next to it. And that, uh, that is what you get when you become a YouTube sponsor of the channel. Kind of cool. So Eddie, if you can type something so people could see it, that would be fan. If, if you're even still here, Eddie, I don't even know if you're still here. Michael Mix, 930. Good morning. Good morning to you, Michael Mix. Uh, Othoniel Cabrera. Hi, Joel. Never saw your T-Rex 2 Plus again. Oh, it's over there. It's literally right there. Let's, uh, oh, this is going to cause all sorts of headaches and pain, but here we go. There it is. There is my T-Rex 2 Plus right there. It's completed some crazy awesome things. Crazy awesome. Whoa, Blodorn. Glad I could finally catch one of your streams. Go buy a Red Bull on me for the new year. Thank you so much. I could definitely use a Red Bull in the new year. Uh, exact GD got a question. Do you have a CR 10 S five or just a CR 10 S four gear best to offer to CR 10 S five for review. But, um, I have a backlog of so many things and I, I, I said, you could send it to me and I have no idea if I'm even going to be able to take it out of the box anytime soon. And so they, we both agreed. It was just, there's Eddie Moser. We just agreed. It wasn't the right time. Plus, um, the CR 10 S four, the, the form bot T-Rex two plus, the G Max, uh, the Zortrax M300 that's on its way, the Taz 6, the Raze 3D N2 Plus, the uh, the the little monster, the Simi CNC Rose Stock Max V3, they all take up a ginormous amount of space. Ooh, Disturbed Medic, thanks again for everything this year. Still super stoked on my lightsaber today. You should be. If um, uh, Disturbed Medic posted some epic shots of a 3D printed lightsaber on Twitter, it is fantastic. Sound Imp, do you ever do your review for the T-Rex? No, not yet. It's being planned out. Um, it'll happen after the new year, guaranteed. Uh, as to, I, I, It's on my short list of things that I know I need to get done. Um, 3D Tech is asking about the Bond Tech video, and that's still on the short list of things to do as well. That was one of the things that got a lot of uh, asks in my uh, comment down below if you... Um, if you'd like this on the channel. So that is definitely planned. Mike Hutchison, a new sponsor. Welcome to the table, Mike. Thank you for your sponsorship here on YouTube. That's very kind of you. Fantastic. Someone said 3D maker noob. Good morning, mate. Is uh, there he is? Oh, that's fantastic. 3D maker noob. Happy freaking new year, my friend. Let's see, I'm gonna do that. There we go. There it is. Uh, oh man, I am behind on the chat. I am so sorry. Gear down for what? Why are you still awake? Because I'm not tired. That's why. Will Nickerson with $10. It's crazy pants, Will. My goodness. Oh man. Uh, let's see. I'm going down. Let's see. Review the CR11. What the heck is a CR11? Hey, Fool Wizard's in here. Fool Wizard is the one that designed that, that crazy cool 
Joel logo. Disturbed Medic, welcome as a sponsor. Thank you, good sir. You and your lightsaber are more, more than welcome to sit at the table here. Stuff I made, Prusa Mark III order now or wait for issues to be ironed out. Um, as far as the Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printer goes, I do have it downstairs. It's in a box. I just haven't had the chance to open it yet. I really, really hope, really hope to be able to do that very, very soon. Um, the issues so far seem to be software related, firmware updates, stuff like that. I know Joe sent out an email saying firmware 311 is supposed to be out soon the final version the beta version's out so two to four weeks i'm sure they'll firm up any issues in the beta firmware and release it um you can follow i believe uh chaos cortec and his wife chelsea or lauren over to buzz designs or uh chris from practical printing or 3d maker noob they all have their mark threes they're built and they've been tweeting about them like crazy because they're uh, even even uh Mojik over at um i forget his channel but it's Mojang, which is fantastic. I know it's Mike, Joe, but whatever. Uh, uh, they're, they're doing their best to help Joe out with um, the the Raspberry Pi issues and the Octoprint issues and just getting it going, loading on the new firmware, giving the feedback. I think it's a good machine. I think it's a solid base. I think the firmware just needs to be continually tuned just a little bit. Oh, uh, man, I am falling behind on the questions. 3D Maker Noob question, how long should our shortlist really be? And can we ever call it a short list? Hey, Paul, happy new year to you as well. Uh, Gordon, I have not heard of, wait, I have heard of the Hypercube. Jared, uh, I actually, no Red Bulls. And I'll get to that in just a second. 3D Maker Noob, Joe, uh, our shortlist, unfortunately, is, uh, our shortlist is essentially the prioritized list of things that we need, that that has our foremost attention. Um, like the Bontech, install on the Raise 302 Plus and the, the T-Rex 2 Plus review. Uh, those are definitely on the cusp of being produced. Um, but but it's difficult because uh, <laughs> those videos require time and lots of shots. Oh, man, it's crazy. Uh, oh, and the Red Bulls. You guys, I gave up Red Bull. I've had one in the last like month and a half. Uh, as the story goes, my... Um, uh, I've, I've been having these crazy migraine headaches. In fact, um, I've been, I, I have the Samsung Note 8 and I've been trying to keep track of the headaches and I've been trying to keep track of their, um, uh, their intensity and the day and the time they happen. And so I have to go take that to my neurologist and, uh, I just want, I thought, well, maybe, maybe too much caffeine or maybe something in Red Bull was causing it so i just i gave up red bull for the time being just to just to remove that from the equation it's still super tasty and i do love it but i i took it out and so i've just been drinking coffee drinks and espresso drinks um so there you go it's 2 p.m in india according to mazur khan zachary no hello from seattle seattle represent this go to charity no um unfortunately money uh, money that is given through the YouTube super chat. It's really, really hard to separate that because YouTube still takes a large chunk of that. So, um, your $2 ends up being, I believe it's like a buck 20, which is sad. I know, I think, but, uh, money donated through the super chat interface, unfortunately cannot be earmarked for Seattle children's hospital. Your best bet is to send me a dollar or more for a sticker. I, I have new stickers now. Or um, to uh, digital digitally send it to me via a non-YouTube method. And right now, I believe PayPal uh, PayPal is offering that. I'm trying to figure out a way. Um, I'm also trying to figure out a way where I can have a digital version of the Mario block. I think that would be fun. Uh, before I forget, and before it scrolls off, Creative 3D Technologies with a $20, $20 donation uh, through the super chat happy early new year joel we hope to see you at ces 2018 at booth 51448 i think you'll like what you see i think you're right and i can't wait to see you and i i will have my camera in hand of course that's the plan all right obviously um it's 12 37 here on december 31st and uh i may forget your booth number so when I um, when I produce my hey I'm going to CES video and announcing my sponsor and what's going on with that I'll make sure that you remind me. <laughs> All right, um, 
Adam Bryant, listening as I just woke up. Well, thanks for listening. Uh, hello to Evo Nerd in Italy. Travis Doucette, Drink Beaver Buzz. I don't know what that is. Paul, my Christmas was wonderful. I hope yours was as well. Maybe it's the hair of the gummy bears. That's funny. Uh, Blodorn, I'm sorry. I cannot make time go faster. Believe me. If I could, I would. Gear down for what? Happy I said your name. Well, I, I said it again, so I hope you're twice as happy now. The Braden Evans Show, in all capital letters, have you ever made a failed print with the New Matter Mod T? And the Braden Evans Show, I can tell you, when I had that machine, I made plenty of failed prints with that machine, unfortunately. But that's okay. Build a break. Ooh, tames, uh, same time zone. Woo! Exact GD. I've never seen so many Super Chat donations. I know, they're coming in. It's wonderful. I remember uh, part of the reason I have a new machine is because uh, one fine gentleman threw $500 through Super Chat twice, and uh, I was able to uh, I was able to put that towards a new machine, so uh, he broke me. Literally broke me. I almost broke down crying on YouTube, and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> uh, average Kid Vlogs. Joel, I just got the Maker Gear M2 desktop 3D printer. It is awesome. Oh, that is fantastic. The M2 is a wonderful machine. Uh, they offered me the M3 to test, but I think they they took the route of fulfilling customer orders first, which is perfect, because that's what they should do. Mitchell Todd is asking what they should print next, and uh, the Joel bot is always an option. Um, you could print, you know, print a carabiner, maybe, one of those two-piece carabiners that you got to put together and then test to see how strong it is. That's always fun. Uh, Matt one UK, my migraines were down to fish in batter, not had one in years. Oh my goodness. Take care of creative 3d. Um, boy, I got to catch up with this chat. You guys are going crazy. Fugatech. Happy freaking new year. Isaiah Gil Gilad, $100 super chat question mark. Yes. That's an option. I believe, uh, through super chat. Uh, you have up to $500 to throw in. So there we go. William Anderson. Happy New Year from Norway. I just woke up. Well, thank you very much. Exact GD. Wait, so you're in Seattle. Yes. Yes, I am a Seattle YouTuber. That 3D print guy. Have your kids been bugging you with the giant uh, noisemaker? No, thank goodness. In fact, it is. <laughs> Here it is. Wasn't that crazy? I can't do it right now because everybody's asleep. I will literally, I will literally get murdered in my in my sleep if I if I do it right now. So I'm not gonna do it right now. But uh, it was crazy how loud that got. It was super crazy. Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna you know I gotta tweet this out. I don't think I've done that yet. Have I? I should tweet this out. Okay, there we go. I tweeted it out. Whoo, boy. There are 258 of you there. And it's crazy. I'm doing my best to keep up. Austin, hi, Joel. I got my first 3D printer for Christmas. And your video has helped me so much. By the way, I got a Lowe's Mini. That's fantastic. That is a wonderful machine. Hey, Rowan from Johannesburg. Joao, Joe, Joao, Joao Torres. I hope I pronounced that right. From Portugal. Good morning. Bigger CR10, is it a good printer? So far, from what I've tested, the CR10 and the CR10S4 are great machines. I have not tested the S5 or the CR10 Mini. There were some versions of the CR10S4 that included uh, the heating part of the bed that it was smaller than the actual build plate. Mine heats the entire build plate, so it's not something I worry about. Uh, but they've been good machines for me. All right. Um, Jack Callen, if you could make any feature a gold standard, what would it be? Oh boy, that's that's an interesting thing. It it it, it revolves depending on what I'm printing at the time, and it revolves between um, a consistent and trustable change filament, or a removable flexible build plate, or filament detection. There we go. 
Re- I mean, really, and the the uh, the Prusa i3 has those, right? The i3 Mark III. Yeah. Uh, Teresa, my son says Happy New Year from here in Sydney. Sadly, I can't chuck in dollar dues though. Well, Teresa, tell your son Happy New Year from me here in Seattle, Washington. Nico Klein, hello, Joel. Hello, oh, hello from Germany. What do you think about the Codometrinus and the Obsidian? Well, the Obsidian I had, and it was a pre-production unit. It wasn't final, and it ori- originally was a subpar, and then I sent it for tuning, and then it became better, uh, and then I, I haven't heard from Michael from Kodama in months. So um, I, I don't know if I'm what the status of it is. Um, the Trinus, though, is supposed to be a good machine. I have one. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, though. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Ron Floyd's in the house. Hey, Ron. How's it going, man? Oh, man. Ron helping out, it looks like. It's fantastic. <laughs> Creative technology. All right. Creative 3D Technologies is asking, what is a good small model to mass produce as handouts at a trade show. And I'm gonna say one of the best models is something you create yourself that shows off the feature set of your machine, if you're offering a machine or of your filament. And so, I mean, I hate to say maker coin, right? But I mean, it's it's kind of the thing, right? Uh, that 3D print guy, thoughts on the Doctor Who Christmas episode. So without, Without uh, giving anything away, I want to say that I loved the idea of the new Doctor Who episode. I'm excited for the new Doctor. Um, I thought that as far as Christmas episodes go, this wasn't the best. Uh, this was this wasn't the worst, but I do like other Christmas episodes better. So there we go. Uh, your 3D print geek. Have you tried your ultra base? No, not yet. I still have, um, the Anycubic i3 Mega. It's in a box and it's in the shop. Uh, I still need to get that out. I still need to be printing. I'm excited to try the ultra base. I've heard all sorts of really awesome things about things about that. Oh, Teresa. Okay, great. I'm glad your kidlet is, uh, is happy about me giving a little shout out. You can offer your kidlet a high five as well from me. I think that would be fantastic. Hey, Video Scrap Heap. Happy freaking New Year, my friend. Uh, Broken Hearted does say that the Obsidian is in production now and should be out in March. Is that a should be or is that should be? I guess. I guess that's the right way to put it. <laughs> right? Uh, 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 Paul Cumber. So, Joel, what have you been up to? Well, um, I've been taking time off. It's the Christmas break, and so... Where I work, they take off uh, between Christmas and New Year's because I guess so many people take the time off anyway. They just, you know, shut off the AC to the building and say, hey, we'll pay you. Just don't come to work. So it works out. Uh, I've been, oh, excuse me. I've been um, family stuff and relaxing and watching movies and using Fusion. Yeah, um, just relaxing. It's been great. Hey, Dustin, hey, from a few blocks away. Oh, what's going on, Dustin? That's fantastic. Welcome to the stream, my friend. You should go to bed, too. It's late. Hey, it's late where you are. The Braden Evans Show. Thoughts on Oni printer nail polish work too smooth. Well, first, thanks for the two bucks. That's very kind of you. Second, I don't know. Um, So nail polish to smooth over 3D print lines, I guess. I mean, I don't see why that wouldn't work. Um. If it was, uh, if it's sandable, I mean, that would be perfect, right? Because then you could actually apply a, a primer or a paint to it, and then that would be good. Of course, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. Experiment. Try it out. Isaiah is currently printing a Star Destroyer half. Don't forget the other half when you're done. Uh, Ron Floyd, five bucks, man. <sighs> I will. I, I'll tell you what. I've been aging some stone beers, and I think I might chill one for the new year. We'll see what happens. Hawk 3D Proto's in the house. Hey, buddy. You know, 
Your travel vlogs are awesome. If you ever get a chance, go check out Hawk 3D Proto and those travel vlogs. They are fantastic. Stuff I made. Um, how do I donate? If you're asking about donating to Seattle Children's Hospital, I'm going to set up a digital method after the new year begins. Uh, or you can send me a dollar or whatever uh, in an envelope. And I will put it in whatever the next Mario Cube or Bender head is. If you're talking about throwing money to keep uh, my lights on and my bills paid, you can use Super Chat or you can go to PayPal or uh, you can go to, I think it's, um, I have to check my websites, the 3D printing nerd.com support. There we go. Cool, you can go to the3dprintingnerd.com forward slash support. And those are the PayPal ways, or you can Patreon me. Or you can sponsor. If you look at Eddie Moser's comment, it's got that little robot next to him. That's part of the YouTube pilot sponsorship program for non-gaming channels, which I'm a one of, which I'm a part of. I'm one of. Uh, yeah, so you can do it that way too. There we go. Let's see. Oh, someone was asking, Cardakea? I think it is. I want a Creality CR Tennis 4. Can you suggest a place to buy it from? My Creality machines have all come from Gearbest. Um, they've been good to me. Uh, I There are people that have had some issues, but there's also thousands of people that haven't. So it's completely up to you whether or not you order from Gearbest or Banggood. Uh, here in the U.S., Printed Solid offers the CR10 series, and they are wonderful people. I know them personally. Um, Tiny Machines is in the U.S., um, who else? Who else? I think that's that's all I know right at the top of my head. I know Timothy Hoogland might be doing stuff out of his TH3D studio. I don't know. Uh, oh, Steph. Hey, hey from Seattle. Hey, Justin Levy. Let's see. Jared Lever. Um, have a great new year to you as well. Ali Raza is asking, what is a good 3D printer for a beginner? It depends on your technical level, the space available, how much you uh, have as far as a budget, what your um, what you plan to make, what you want to do. But um, as far as low-cost machines, you know, you can always look at the CR10s. You can always look at the MP Select Minis. Um, uh, and kits and and low low price kits. I know that um, the, the Prusa i3 Mark IIs 3D printer is $599 US for the kit. That's not too bad. Uh, I, I think the uh, the Little Monster is decent. At least mine was. Um, what else? I think that's all I got on my mind right now. Greg Allen, are there any maker fairs in Seattle? There is. There is a maker fair in Seattle, and there's a maker fair in Portland as well. You'll want to look those up. Those are uh, I haven't been to the Seattle one. Disturb Medic with 10 bucks. Wow. Oh, and there's someone else with 10 bucks too. Oh, an alpha. Okay. I'm, I'm catching up. Jeez. Okay. Daniel White sent in 10. Thank you so much. Disturb Medic. So what can you tell us about 2018? Uh, it depends. Can you be more specific? Uh, 2018 is going to hopefully hold as many videos as I did in 2017. I did a check and it looked like I did 239 videos and live streams in 2017 on the YouTube channel. That doesn't cover anything that I did on my Twitch channel, but I didn't, I think I, I mean, I did a lot and you have to, you got to remember <laughs> I'm a, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm just a dude and I've got uh, a lovely wife and kids. And uh, so all of this is because I'm staying up later than I should. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, Evo Nerd, can uh, the shirt ship to Italy? It certainly can. Uh, international shipping takes a little bit, but um, I know Merch Minion originally had some issues with shipping some things out. Those issues have been taken care of and uh, orders going forward are are... I'm very confident in their ability to be delivered. And if you order a shirt, it can be shipped to Italy. Ben makes weird noises. Did you read this comment? I didn't. I'm sorry, Ben. I did not. Oh, JT. How's it going, man? And you're happy with your Anycubic i3 Mega. Okay, good. I know Chuck likes it. Um, man. Who else has that? I think 3D Maker Noob has it. Linus is asking about the Craftware Slicer, and I haven't used Craftware yet. I believe 
I believe Dustin, uh, the Jatman, he's been doing stuff with Craftware on his Twitch channel. You might want to check that out. Greetings. Uh, let's see, is that Victor or did, did, did he pronounce Victor? Uh, greetings from Poland. Well, greetings from Seattle. And I haven't had a chance to play with Zmorph. I know they've sent me some emails in the past, but we never were able to converge on something. Juan Antonio, what do you do for a job? During the daylight hours, I am in software. I, I, I take care of... Um, scripting and automation for doing performance testing of applications in my company. It's kind of fun, I guess. <laughs> and Levi's saying any cubic customer support is great. That's great. And there's Daniel with the $10, $10. Tristan Wood, uh, what are your thoughts on Octoprint and is it worth it? Octoprint is free. So yes, it's worth it. And uh, Gina who maintains it, she's a good person. Uh, I actually am a patron of hers, so she can keep developing uh, Octoprint stuff. Yep. Uh, I am way behind. I'm trying to catch up. 3D Tech, Joel, do you sleep? Yes. Sometimes. Daniel White, can't wait for your review of the T-Rex 2 Plus. I can't either. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> See, the problem is when it gets to be... Well, here it is. It's is. I'm looking at my computer clock, and it says 12.54. Um... Uh, the, you know, I have to get the printer out. I have to stage it. I have to stage the prints. I have to come up with the scripts or I'm just going to wing it. Sometimes I wing it. Uh, and then all of the features that I mentioned, I want to make sure and get footage of those features in action, which usually means I have to warm up the printer, start a print and, you know, cut the filament or power it down or whatever and get, get the features actually working from a couple different angles. And so it just takes time to prepare all that. And before you know it, it's three, four o'clock in the morning and I still have another shot or two to get. I've been talking to the camera. I can't remember where I'm at. I've said things more than once. Uh, it's just, it, it's not always the best. So that's why I need to wait until I have the proper amount of time to, to do it properly. Um, uh, I'm impressed with the T-Rex 2 Plus so far. And it's printed a lot of crazy good things. Let me, uh, let's, let me get through the chat and I'm going to show you something that no one else has seen yet. Paul, the weather by me is uh, foggy right now. Greg Allen, have you tried vapor smoothing? I have not. The only thing I've done is the polisher, but I don't, uh, so far I haven't trusted uh, vaporized acetone and heat. I haven't done any cold smoothing either. Yeah. Uh, Jason Nyblack, what are your thoughts on the Prusa i3 Mark II S? The Mark II S is a wonderful machine. It is it is, is is almost like the gold standard of of just of reliability, at least in my experience and people I trust. Um, it's a good, good machine. It's a really, really good machine. Oh, I'm getting a text. Oh, okay. It was an email, not a text. Sorry. I was like, who's texting me at one o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Mechanically, hey Joel, happy early new year. I must thank you and Angus and Thomas for introducing me to 3D printing. Well, I'm very, very happy that I could introduce you to 3D printing. I like introducing people to 3D printing. It's a wonderful technology. Stuff I made, where in Super Chat? Oh, I see. So if your country or your locale supports it, where you type things in below that, you'll see a smiley face. Next to that, you might see dollar sign and if you hover over that it'll say super chat and if you click it it gives you the options for sending in money via the super chat interface oh okay hawk 3d proto thanks man hoping to meet you in 2018 i'm hoping to meet you in 2018 ben you are you're good people all right i i need to catch up shadizo says hello hello <laughs> All right, uh, where'd it go? Oh no, did I lose it? Okay, Alpha Wolf Gaming. Greetings from the road in Colorado. Greetings. I'm, I'm trying to read, it's getting tough. Let's say, Ron Floyd, I will send my donation to the hospital fund as soon as I get my printer assembled and printing and send you some monster size print. Ron, it's like, it almost sounds like a threat. <laughs> Disturb Medic with $5. Thank you, sir. What are your goals, plans? What do you want to accomplish, i.e. what can we do to help? Well, first, Wes, Wes Pele, Pale, Pale, with, with 10 euros. No, is that pounds or euros? Someone correct me. I'm going to say that's pounds. <sighs> I hope it's pounds. Uh, and a big thanks for everybody that's helping out in the chat because I can't keep up with everything. Um, 
Okay, in 2018, let's be honest. If if I'm able to get enough, if I'm able to get enough recurring revenue from content production that my my wife and my kids can see a doctor and can eat without it having to fight over a packet of ramen, then I will seriously consider making content production my full-time job. So far, uh, those are the goals of 2018. If it, I, would, I would like, I know it'd be a tough decision, but I want to be able to grow and be successful to a point of where I have to make that decision. I think that would be a wonderful thing. I think being able to be so successful in something that I started and something supported by you, the community, could enable me to, to do this as a career, a profession, and still allow my family to be well and to eat. I think I think that is the ultimate goal. Besides that, Disturbed Medic, um, I want to I want to visit uh, Murph. I want to visit. Um, let's see, I'm going to CS 2018. I want to go to Murph. I'm like 99% sure I can go. I just need to make sure of a few things. Um, I want to go back to New York when it's not New York Maker Fair because I want to visit Preston of Press Reset. I want to visit Carmelo. I want to visit G Create and do a video. I want to visit Voodoo Manufacturing and do a video. My friends Shannon and Chris are out there. I'd like to see them. I think that uh, I think going to New York when it's not Maker Fair would be absolutely wonderful. That's what I'm thinking. All right. So those. Oh, and to go to Malta to meet Joe. And to go to uh, Prague to visit Prusa, and to go to Norway and Sweden. Um, I know Simon from RC Life on emailed me uh, talking about wanting to collaborate. I think that would just blow my mind. I think that would be fantastic. So that's a goal. So how can you help? Here's how everybody can help me achieve those goals. Uh, keep watching my videos. Uh, let the ads play, or if you use Adblock, if you could whitelist my channel, that would just make my heart grow 10 times bigger. Uh, if you have the means, you can throw me a dollar or more a month via Patreon or PayPal or, or uh, pay, let's see, Patreon or PayPal or YouTube sponsorship or, I don't know, I mean, you could buy my merch. <laughs> All of those things are going to support me and my family. Uh, we are... We are going to be bringing the Etsy store back online where I can sell the things that I design. So much like Lauren of Abuzz Designs has her Etsy shop, I will have an Etsy shop. And it won't just be cookie cutters. Scuba Dave, GSXR, who is your doctor? I hope by that you mean Doctor Who. And I'm a big fan of David Tennant, but because of the interactions my daughter had with Matt Smith, I would have to go with Matt Smith as a dad. Ron Floyd. Sleep is overrated. It's very, very true. I agree. Uh, Zachary, no, you are prototyping an ESP8266 case right now. That is awesome. I re I'm curious about that. Uh, okay. I'm just, the, the chat like pseudo resets every once in a while. Hey Scott, uh, Scott La La Latine Latine. La, Scott, you're gonna have to tell me how to pronounce that, man. Teresa, Teresa is a sponsor now. Thank you. What? Yeah. Bless your nerd heart. That is fantastic, Scott of um, Marlin Firmware. Marlin's got some big stuff coming up. Pretty excited for for what's coming down. Uh, Isaiah, the, the Death Star is done. That's great. <laughs> Jock Spice, uh, 10 pounds? 10 pounds, right? 10 pounds. All the best for 2018. Hopefully this helps for ramen for everyone. Come to the UK soon. Dave, Jock Spice, I've known you as my subscriber and commenter for so long, and now I know your name is Dave. Hi, Dave. I'm Joel. And a trip to the UK is definitely in the works. I need to get my passport. You guys, don't let me forget to get my passport. Oh my goodness. Um, big, huge shout out to 3D, 3D Maker Noob and uh, Eddie Moser and everyone else who's helping to 
uh, keep the chat going and and answer questions and try to interact. Uh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <sighs> Gonna make me cry. Frank Sansone. Hey, Joel for 3D Printing Nerd. Well, hey, Frank. How are you? Uh, Disturbed Medic. I did see your tweet on changing jobs. I believe I favorited it. If I didn't, I favorited it in my mind. My mind. <laughs> in my mind. I like that. Uh, Woodmore. Selling my prints would be awesome. That's right. His name is Angus. That's good. Uh, Patrick, I did see the Christmas episode of Doctor Who. Uh, Imagination to form. Do you bother with food safe filament for cookie cutters, 3D printing nerd? No. And here's something important. There is no such thing as food safe filament. The FDA, in order to, to consider something food safe, they have to be able to regulate the entire process. And if they say a filament is food safe, there's, it's still coming out of a nozzle and traveling through a hot end and a heater block and a cold end and an extruder and it's still got to pass over a, a hub bolt or a gear, maybe even through a Bowden tube. All of those things the FDA doesn't have control over, so there's no way to make it technically food safe. But at the same time, one of the things that one of the problems is when you introduce liquids or heat to the plastics and that's when it can start to leach off something depending on how hot it is or the liquids can pick up little microscopic granules from it more so than a dry uh dry material so with cookie cutters i've used pla and i've used abs and i've used petg and the reason that i've all considered those to be safe for cookie cutters is because cookie cutters aren't a wet thing and it's not a liquid thing and it's it's not a hot thing because you're you're cutting cold cookie dough so any you're, you're just making impressions in the dough and it's like a sugar cookie it's super easy to rinse those off in a lukewarm water and to get all of the bits off so I've always considered cookie cutters to be food safe just because of the way they're in contact with the food material. And I hope that makes sense. Oh my gosh. You know what? I try to scroll in the chat and it just skips. It skips and it makes me angry. Oh, Teresa, I will get my passport. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Lunar Animator. Hey, Joel, I'm a big fan of you. It was your videos that made me get my first 3D printer, the CR-10. Well, everybody, golf clap. That is fantastic. Welcome to the CR-10 family. Also, Lunar Animator. I love that name. Tell me, do you build lunar animations? I'm now very curious. Oh, and Josh, don't forget to get my passport. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks for that. And and Adam, yes, I will get my passport. And uh uh, Tarek, yes, five minutes because of the stupid, ch I just can't keep up. JT with 20, $20, JT, what are you doing, man? Thank you. Thank you. That, that goes a long way and it will help with everything. Bless your nerd heart. Jason Hickson is asking about buying a 3D printer or, or waiting until there's a major breakthrough. And, uh, if you're going to get an FDM machine, I think we're kind of at that point where, um, Hardware is almost at that level that it's it I, there's there, it's almost at a ceiling. I I really I'm 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 not saying that there won't be a breakthrough, but I mean we we've, we've seen a lot of really cool stuff. Just look at the Prusa i3 Mark III with the way it's using sensors, uh, and it's using the the SPI bus to communicate with stuff. I think I think the Prusa i3 Mark III, as far as pure hardware goes, is nearly as good as it technically gets right now. It just has to be perfected with software. Software can always be updated, so if you want to get the latest and you get a Mark III, I bet you will not be disappointed. 3D Maker Noob knows a guy who knows a guy, and that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, Linus, what is the best alternative to ABS that can handle a bit more heat? Uh, I believe that's PETG. People usually go to PETG as an analog to ABS just because it can handle a little bit more. People in the chat, please correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, look at that. People in the chat are correcting me. Paul K is a sponsor. Paul K, welcome to the table. Thank you for your sponsorship. I do appreciate that. Riznik 3D. Hey, Joel, your channel is great. Do you have any good YouTube tips? Yes, I do. Uh, get yourself a decent 
Well, okay, you know what? I, I, everybody says, make sure your audio is good and light your scene and talk clearly and try not to say um and ah all the time. But you know what? Make good content. Find a niche and just make content about it. Film things via a couple different angles. Make some cuts. Just put out some awesome ideas and people will come to you. Uh, look at Chuck Hellebuck. Awesome dude. Quality human being. What? Now, I think he's past 15 or 20,000 subscribers. Uh, he releases a video a week. His film at Friday. Everything he films is on an iPad. It's on an iPad. That's His YouTube channel is produced on an iPad. If you can produce a successful YouTube channel with an iPad, I think I think that says a lot. Phew. Okay. Paul K, your thoughts on spending the money upgrading an Ultimaker to Extended. Well, what are you upgrading? Because you've already have the 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 old you're talking about going from a two to a two plus? And maybe? I don't know. Let me know, Paul. That's kinda I don't know. <sighs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just. I tell you what. I'm really sorry if I'm missing some of the chat. I'm gonna try to pick it up right here. Tim Stambach, love your videos. Heart. Tim, thank you so much. I throw you a heart right back. Roberto says people want new cool stuff, and Roberto, I say they want cool new stuff. That's what I think they want. Inside the mind of Matt says, in capital letters, say my name, three exclamation points, and a smiley face. Well, inside the mind of Matt, I'm sorry I cannot fulfill your request. And inside the mind of Matt, I hope you still have a wonderful day. Uh, ASTY1234, I hate no sniffling during videos. I do as well. Thank the good Lord I have an editor who cuts that out. All right, Paul K., yes. Going from a t an Ultimaker 2... I gotta move my chair to an Ultimaker Two Plus. It is a very worthwhile upgrade. You uh, the the extruder mechanism much better. I believe it's the Olson block as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, Josh McEachern. Hey Joel, just wondering what your favorite Delta is for the money. Ooh, this is when it gets good. So I've got the Neva right uh, right there. Decent, low priced, works well. 3D Maker noob would agree. The Rostock Max V3. Awesome machine, slight difficult to put together the kit, depending on your technical level, still good. TiVo little monster, mine performs really well. There are a little hiccups because sometimes the brain just resets. Sometimes it just stops. I don't know, but when it's working, works great. I really want to check out the Artemis really want to check out that Artemis. I need to go. I get the feeling at Murph this year, I am going to get my hands on an Artemis and it's going to be awesome. Imagination 2 form wants old stuff. Um, here's a bottle of wine from uh, 2013. As old well as it gets right now. Disturb Medic. $5! Thank you, good sir. So close to starting my own channel. Should I Yes. If you want to, you should definitely start your own channel and you should produce awesome content. Use whatever camera you got, whatever microphone you have, and just make some really cool, like awesome content that people are going to want to watch. There you have it. Skelly Cat Gaming, are you a Doctor Who fan? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Ghost. Oh, oh, do you print with flesh filaments and then ghost with flesh and then ghost with flexi? Okay, I didn't think you meant flesh because that's weird. I do print with flexible filaments sometime and it's, oh, it's downstairs. I printed uh, an NGen Flex uh, Christmas tree. It was awesome. Oh, and I've got Lego tires too that I printed with flexibles. Just haven't shown them off. I need to be able to show off more stuff. Uh, 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 Yurt Khan, what do you think about the TiVo Tarantula kit? Uh, I think it's gotten better over time. I think that, uh, well, I haven't had the chance to put one together. I just haven't had the time to put forth in putting it together. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I would love to at some point. I do have a uh, TiVo Tornado over there that I do need to get together. But um, 
Others have the kit and others can give you a better idea. Riznik is looking for uh, YouTube channel tips. Make good content. Use whatever microphone you, you can find. Use uh, whatever camera you can find. Um, just make awesome stuff. Film stuff. Make content. Put it on YouTube. I think that'd be a great idea. Uh, Lunar Animator. Hey, Joe. I want to respond to you that the question you answered. Let's see. You make... Mostly source filmmaker animations, but I am planning to do more complex and images in the future. Just letting you know. Okay, Lunar Animator, do you use? I'm curious if you use uh, programs like After Effects. That's a, that's a fun program to use. And Disturb Medic, you've got a 5D Mark III and a 24 to 70 f 2.82. That's not bad. I have uh, I have a 1DX. Uh, I've got the um, the 24 to 70 f 2.8. I don't think I have the two. I also have the 70. To 200 f2.8 ISL, um, good lenses. But I've got my Canon XF400 that I do my video recordings with. So I, I've uh, that's kind of what I use right there. Daniel White, what software do you use for webcasting? Well, right now I'm using something called OBS. And go look up OBS software. It stands for Open Broadcast Software, I think it is. It takes different inputs and then sends them out to Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or Twitch or Instagram or mixer or whatever levi garrett is asking where elvis is i really don't know i'm sorry duo film everything get comfortable on your skin that's a really great tip actually look at the camera when you're when you're talking and just get comfortable talking to a camera it's one of the most difficult things and people have a hard time with it because it's not easy but try it that's the way to go uh, Rover, US Rover. Good morning, Joel from Las Vegas. Good morning. Hey, you know, uh, Las Vegas is where CS is, and uh, Las Vegas is also where Jeff of the Print 3D channel is. Ooh, ooh, okay. Uh, Masra Khan, 3D designing video. That's a great segue, because uh, I'm going to show you guys something. I just submitted all the footage to Sean, my editor, and... Uh... Oh, okay. I just built this. It's huge. <laughs> it's a wine bottle rack wine rack see you can you can put the wine bottle in there there we go but it's huge right i mean there's there's a bunch of them so my buddy david Pachuto over at the make something channel he did this out of uh cherry wood and used a laser cutter so what i did is designed it in fusion 360 and then um, printed it out on nine different 3d printers and it's about uh, 140 hours worth of printing time. Crazy, right? And I did. I did an okay job. I mean, I could have done a better job. I could have done a much better job. But I did an okay job. And I think that's important right there. Uh, Levi, the delay seems surprisingly small in this stream. Well, that's good. Uh, Andrej, uh, what is the biggest thing you've printed? Oh, that's a good question. <sighs> I printed some really big things on the T-Rex. Um, did print this um, this uh, Mega Man blaster. It's kind of fun. Still got to paint that. Big. Um, the twist containers. I printed those really big on the Rays 3D and 2 Plus. I believe they're 23 inches tall. I think. I think. Oh, Chris. Happy New Year in advance to you as well. And yes, Michael. Oh, the, the nine printers printing. That was it. Uh, Sweet Blue. Yes, we did talk about this earlier. The T-Rex 2 Plus. Um, review is coming on that. And, uh, well, this this noisemaker was made on the T-Rex 2 Plus. As well as some other choice things. So, yes, the review is coming. Uh, what I explained earlier, it's just a matter of time. So, usually, like, it's 117 according to my computer right now. Usually what I do is I... Uh, I set up and stage things for filming, try to come up with a script, or I wing it, and then I film it, and then I film things from different angles. And if I talk about features, I have to film those features happening. Um, and it just takes time, and then it becomes 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning, and then I'm tired, and I missed a shot, or I just start talking about things that uh, I've already talked about. 
the footage isn't any good. Now you just have to redo it anyway. So it's just, I need to find a time to be able to shoot that when I have some daylight hours and I'm not just a bowl of jelly. <sighs> Man. Well, Teresa, um, these are all, <laughs> I know. And I hate saying that I have nine 3D printers because, I mean, I paid for some of them, but I didn't pay for all of them because some of them were for review units. And um, it's just difficult, right? Because I, I know some people call me a shill <laughs> because I have these machines that companies send me. But uh, it's, it's all part of marketing. It's why, like, celebrities drive certain cars and are shown carrying certain brands of uh, cola, right? It's, it's all marketing. And so part of the reason I did nine 3D printers is because I was able to satisfy marketing needs of all of these donated and and review machines within one fell swoop and that way i created something awesome so there we go l cutner i know it's a hard question but gun to your head what would you say is your favorite 3d printer jeez dude it's violent um whatever printer I'm using at the moment that's working. So sometimes it's my GMAX, sometimes it's my Prusa, sometimes it's my Ultimaker, sometimes it's my Taz 6, sometimes it's my Creality CR10. It's just, it's whatever I'm using at the time that's working really well. <sighs> yeah. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> Justin Levy, when school starts, I'm always a bowl of jelly. <laughs> It's awesome. Oh, I want to show you guys something. This is my chair. That's my chair. This is my my chair that I sit in. This is every time you see me filming a video. This is my chair. It, I mean, that's I need a I need a better chair. <sighs> I need a better chair. Uh, Simon Turon. Let's see. Si Simon Turon. Hi, Joel. Have you seen X-Robot's record 3D print build? Yes. That is cool. Uh, I do want to meet James. I think I think he'd be fun to meet. Him and Tom and everybody over in Europe. But, you know. Hey, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. I can't even do it right. Riznik. Joel, I should start up my own 3D printing channel. Any good tips? Uh... Uh, I think I've, I've said it a few times, Riznik. <laughs> uh, Disturbed Medic 167, if you ever want to trade firearms for, th for three printers, let me know. I'm sponsored there. Wow. Wow. Um, that's cool. That's, that would be, you know what, Disturbed Medic, I hope you and I are somewhere, are, are in the same geography at the same time, sometime, because I would love to talk to you about your experiences. I'm sure you'd love to talk to me about mine. I think that'd be, I think that'd be fun. Uh, let's see, Maz, Maz Rourke. God, this chair is just pissing me off, you guys. <laughs> Maz Rourke, thanks for joining us. Um... Oh, uh, Lunar Animator. Hey, Joel. Yes, I do use After Effects a lot. I use it to add effects. And some of my videos, I only use After Effects. Depends on what I'm doing. Well, Lunar Animator, uh, research the After Effects secret splash screen and have a look at it. It's kind of cool. Justin Levy, a 3D printed throne. Yeah, that would take forever. I'd have to employ more than nine, nine 3D printers. Creative technologies. If you could wait, if you could 3D print, it's got to be comfortable, right? So it's it's a hard, hard surface, and I should probably get like an office chair, right? I should probably get an office chair. Oh man, Isaiah, can you recommend a way to make the base for my Death Star stronger? This is going to be a long print, and I need to know for the Death Star's sake. Uh, I guess what do you mean by stronger? That's a really good question. Hey, astronaut. How's it going, man? GMAX, new chair. There we go. Let's see. Uh, Jason Hickson, what is the most useful thing you've ever 3D printed? It's a really good question. I'm going to... Let's see. The most useful. The most useful. Um, I printed the latch for my fridge. It's a bifold fridge. And so that... Uh, as the two doors uh, cl uh, close like this, there's a little flap on this side and that little latch needs to make sure kick out the flap. I printed that. Printed a new gear shifter. I printed the gas cap tether. Um, 
I printed some brackets for my wife. I printed a box for my kids, cards, um, little rings that I tweeted out, I think, for Coke bottles so my kids knew whose Coke was whose. Uh, some headphone holders. Kind of useful, right? Some of that's kind of useful. <sighs> Ardobotics. Have you... Oh, you retracted it. Oh, you talked about me me printing me huge to, to go against the James record-setting model. <laughs> he got Lulzbot to give him a couple more Lulzbot Taz 6 with... Um, uh, with the more struders and he had a filament company sponsoring the, the tons and tons of filament he was going to use. So, I mean, I have the electricity for it. Oh, um, I wanted to tell you guys, and I think I'm going to print something for it. I've had an Ant Miner L3 Plus. I've been mining Litecoin and the fans on that thing are really loud. I was going to be printing a fan shroud for that thing. Would that be something interesting, do you think, on the channel or should I just do it? Um... I don't know how many people are actually mining crypto coins or altcoins, uh, but I mean, I have, an, I'm, I have an ASIC unit. I'm mining light coins. Um, uh, if that's something interesting to you, please let me know. I think that'd be fun. There it is. Get Joel a chair. That's a great hashtag. Oh, man. Um, okay. I think I'm going to have to call it good in like five minutes, you guys. Like five minutes. So I'll try to, I'm, I'm going to try to keep up. Creative 3D technologies. Joel, we have the printer big enough to do it one print. An IDEX so we can make the seat from NinjaFlex and have a comfy printed chair. That is crazy. A new view studios. You made me beg my printer or my parents for a 3D printer and I just got one. That's fun. I'm glad that worked out. Really glad that worked out. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Make a vid. Show us. Okay. Cool. Uh, one, and explain crypto coins to me. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't... Crypto coins are so hard to explain. Let's not do it in the chat right now. <laughs> Let's not do it. Oh, man. Okay. I will. Okay. You know what? I will. I'll tell you what. I will try to find a way to explain uh, crypto coins in a video while I 3D print a... Fan shroud for the ant miner. All right. Our Art, Artobotics Art Litecoins just got me a new GPU. I don't know. Can you mine Litecoins via GPU? I always thought that was um, ASIC based. You couldn't. I, I I didn't think you could mine Litecoins fast enough. Like the hash rate wasn't fast enough on GPUs for Litecoins. But I could be wrong. Tiago, make more Star Wars stuff. Okay, I'll do my best. Levi's asking if I've messed with uh, lithophanes before, and I have not yet. I really want to, though. I really want to. <laughs> Hashtag Joel Chair matters. Buy low, sell high. Scam coins. Yeah, I've uh, I've heard it all. <laughs> Gavin Polson, where do you recommend buying bronze nozzle? I, I believe you mean nozzles for cheap and reasonably timed shipping. Um. Don't worry, Teresa. I will totally go to bed. I promise. I promise. Um, um, let's see. Where to get nozzles? A lot of people get them off eBay. I know uh, Printed Solid has them. I know Matter Hackers has them. And I know both of those will give you reliable shipping. Uh, but you'd have to... But they're a little bit more expensive. On eBay, you can get them cheaper, but I think the shipping takes a little bit longer, I think. Um, print Kylo Ren crying. <laughs> that would be funny. Dig Chaos. Did you see the crazy room the hot end is building for mining? No, I didn't. I'll have to go check that out. I know... I know him and his dad have been moving the channel more towards mining and cryptocurrencies and stuff. And I know, uh, I think that's what they're focused on now. So uh, that would be interesting to see what, what they're doing as far as a room for the for the mining. That sounds cool. I'll have to go check that out. Uh, 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 the German, hey, the German printing nerd. Hey, man. 
Crypto coin would be good on technically nerdy. Oh my god, technically nerdy. You guys, I haven't had the chance to do any content for that. Um, I got a new case for my phone, and I was going to review the case because look at this. It has a kickstand. I can, I can put it on the desk with a kickstand. Ashley T, I'm tired. You too. Yes, I am tired. And Austin is, is confirming going with printed solid or matter hackers for sure. And Paul K does say eBay. RC Life Phone. Hey, Simon. Happy freaking new year, man. Thanks for stopping by the live stream. I did mention about how we had emailed. You were up for a collaboration. I think 2018 is going to be the year that you and I can collaborate on something awesome. And let's be honest. You do videos on all those really cool RC things like um, uh, the quads, the racing quads. I know you've got that car that went over the water. Uh, man, and uh, you know, all my kids love RC stuff. So we will, I'll tell you what, Simon, we will figure out some way to make something happen in 2018 because that would be fan freaking tastic. So good. Let's see. Um, Tijin V? Tijin? I don't know. Drink more energy drinks. No, I don't want to do that. It, you... <sighs> no. No. No more energy drinks. Justin Levy, will you scroll up and read my thing about the Maker Select Plus? Oh, Justin. Oh, oh there's so much scroll. Oh, Justin. Okay, I found it. Um... I have a Maker Select Plus, but when I try and home the nozzle, it's probably like five millimeters away from the bed. Okay. All right, Justin, you're going to need to adjust your Z sensor, and you're going to need to bring that most likely down a bit. So your nozzle, when it senses home, it senses it closer to the build plate. That's my... I was just going to say that's my professional opinion, but that's not my... That's just my opinion. This isn't professional. Who am I kidding? There we go. Okay, good. Where'd you go? There you go. RC Life on. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. High five, buddy. Absolutely. I'll talk to I'll talk to you next year. Riznik. Hey Joel, do you like my logo? Yes, I do. I do like it. TJY, good night and happy new year to you as well. Paul Zug, have you used the mosaic palette? If so, what are your thoughts? I have. I have a few hundred hours of printing on that thing. I have it hooked up to my G Max and I have all sorts of thoughts on it because I've had to take it apart multiple times and I need to make a video on it. I need to make that video. I need to make that video. Oh, I need time. I need time. Justin Levy, the Z sensor is all the way down. All right. Maybe, uh, I don't, I don't know the Maker Select Plus right off the top of my head, but maybe there's a screw or whatever is impacting the Z sensor needs to be screwed in or moved up. Maybe, ah, Frank is saying, uh, nozzles on Amazon, seven to 15 and Amazon is, is good for shipping. That's for sure. Hey Joel, what are your, your opinion on the Cube Pro? I don't know the Cube Pro. I'm really sorry. So I don't have an opinion on that. Skelly Cat Gaming, what 3D printer would you recommend? I would uh, I would recommend quite a number of them, but it's going to depend on your technical level of expertise, your budget, what you want to print, what you want to print with, the space you have available, how awesome you are. There's a lot of options there. And so you it's it's like, what car would you recommend? A, a whole bunch of them. You need to tell me more information. <laughs> uh Micro Swiss for Olsen block nozzles. There we go. Micro, another, another micro Swiss. There we go. <laughs> Kevin Polson saying longer springs. I like that. Um, have I printed with Polymaker Plus? If so, always with a raft. No, I have printed with the Polymaker Plus. I think I have, but I haven't used a raft with it. Roy Olmstead sent you a gaming chair. You're going to send me a gaming? Okay. I mean, I won't, I won't refuse that. I won't refuse that at all. Oh man, uh, Matt one one UK go to bed, and I know Teresa is gonna get all mom on me. So so first, disturb medic with five dollars. That's four thirty a.m. here. My last five. Hit me up on Twitter. Have a great night and happy new year. High five, high five, disturb medic. Ron Floyd, go to bed. JT, go to bed. All right, all right. Uh, Austin, I will end with you. Do you post a list of conventions that you plan on attending anywhere? Perhaps you should pin something on Twitter or on your site. 
That is a great, great question. A great statement. Great thing to say. I like that idea, and I will try to do that. But um, I'll tell you what. Let's call it good. This will be the last stream. Of, unless, I'm, unless I fire this up uh, on New Year's Eve, this will be the last stream of 2017. I want to thank everybody for joining me on this epic journey and for making this past year one of the most successful and fruitful years I've ever had in anything I've ever built from the ground up. It's all because of you. I want to I want to thank you so much. And uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff coming in 2018. If I can put my mind to it and if I can get the time. And again, it'll all be thanks to people such as yourselves. So I want to I want to thank you. I want to thank you very much. This is, uh, I, I think in 2018, I think it's when I might realize my dream. And um, that's kind of cool. So with that, I will call it good. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not and to ring that bell of when really cool stuff is uploaded to the channel. I'm going to close out my live stream with my whatever. Thanks for your support with Patreon and YouTube Red and PayPal and YouTube sponsorship and for letting the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, thanks for 2017 and high five.